It's a great pleasure to be with you virtually for the concluding day of the Global School on Refugee and Migrant Health. In our work at IOM, the safety and protection of refugees and migrants always comes first. Protecting their health, physical and mental is at the top of the priority list. We can only preserve their dignity and agency if we help them get and stay healthy. I commend your focus here on the social determinants of health. We need a much better understanding of the political, legal, economic, and behavioral factors that determine migrant health. That's critical today as migration patterns get increasingly complex, especially in the face of conflict and climate change. We need new perspectives. We need new approaches toward migration and migrant health. No agency or organization is going to be able to do it alone. Protecting and promoting migration health requires cooperation. It requires coordination from a wide variety of sectors. Together, our strategic and planning processes need to be inclusive of people on the move. And our work together should promote equitable access for all migrants and their host communities so that they can get affordable, quality health care. Through the work we do on the ground, through our global programs, and as the coordinator of the UN Migration Network, we at IOM have greatly benefited from strong partnerships with other UN agencies, with national governments, with civil society, and with the private sector. When we work together, the prospects for better health for people on the move get brighter. And that's what it's really all about. Not about what's written on the pages of our documents, but the safety and the health of the people we serve. Our vision at IOM is to deliver on the promise of migration while protecting the most vulnerable. And that is a vision everyone here can embrace. But it can't be realized without a focus on something that is important for every human, good health. You here at the Global School of Refugee and Migrant Health are helping to achieve this vision with your work this week. Take what you've done and what you've learned this week back to your communities and your workplaces to play your part in advancing inclusive health for all.